Okay, so our SWOT for today, students will be able to identify the theme of a story. Um, so to refresh and review, it's identifying the lesson the characters learned or needed to learn. Um, but it's also universal because I needed to learn it as well. Um, so it's worded as if everybody can learn from it. So if you look on your screen, you will see the theme visual. I like to post it just in case you need a refresher. Tells you what theme is. We've gone over this many times. Um, it's hidden in the store, just like a cream filled cupcake. Cream's hitting in the middle. You have to guess or make an inference of what the author wants us to learn or to know. And then we have our examples there. So if you need that, that is in Schoology. And then you can click on the story called Tiana's Scar. All right, so we will read this together. We'll I stop and identify some possible themes together and then you'll identify the overall theme um, in a multiple choice question and then complete the short response at the bottom. So read the first four paragraphs of the following story. Tiana's scar. When she was five years old, Tiana was bitten by Rex, her uncle's dog. The bite left a small scar on Tiana's finger. Now 11, Tiana still avoids dogs wherever she goes. Every morning, Tiana walks an extra block to school to avoid walking by her neighbor's dog, Millie. Millie lies quietly behind a locked gate and doesn't bark much, but Tiana insists on avoiding the dog at all costs. When her best friend Kim laughed at Tiana's extra hike one morning, Tiana exclaimed, I don't care what you think. Passing a ferocious beast is not how I want to start my day. Okay, calm down, Tiana, Kim responded as Tiana rushed away angrily. So before we go on, it wants us to identify some possible things now. Okay, so which details are important in the story? To start thinking about a theme the author might be developing, underline the most important details. So some of the details that I think are important are... Um, that she's still avoiding dogs at 11, okay? She walks an extra block to school. That was not good. She walks an extra block to school to avoid walking by her neighbor's dog, Millie. Um, let's see. And another thing she said was, I don't care what you think. Passing a ferocious beast is not how I want to start my day. So those are all really good details that can be put into our detail boxes um, because those kind of help me figure out the theme. Um, she'd rather be safe than sorry. Um, she would rather um, walk an extra whole mile than be around a ferocious beast. Um, so those are details that can be put in here. So for example, I might plug in the detail that says um, now 11. Tiana still avoids dogs. Okay. All right, so I have a detail, and now let's figure out a possible theme, and I'll have you identify another detail um, on your own. So um, she's being very cautious now. She's walking an extra block, couple blocks. Um, she's still avoiding the dogs. She'd rather um, uh, not pass the ferocious beast. That's not how she wants to start her day, she says, which could be a good detail. So I'm going to put in the possible themes, it's better to be safe than sorry. That's a possible theme that I can learn, that you can learn, and that Tiana learned. Okay? So fill out another detail that proves that it's better to be safe than sorry. I'm going to start a new video for the rest of the story and the questions.